hello and welcome to my youtube channel once again this is the voice of ubunayach nemerim and um, i want to say a very big welcome to um those who are just those who are seeing my video for the very first time okay if you're new on this channel please click on the subscribe button turn on the notification um bell like clicking on the notification icon right so that you'll be notified whenever i drop um, an amazing video like this okay you can also go extra mile by sharing this video like this amazing content so that um, other designers like you and i can also profit from this video okay so in this video we are going to be solving the issue of shadow like this is the one of the issues that um designers like people who designs with smartphone has been experiencing for some time now right so um we are, we are going to be learning how to create realistic shadow with pixel lab okay with pixel lab okay is no we as well know it's no longer a surprise that the developers okay the developers of pixel lab app have refused to update the app now over some years now i think um we what we're doing with pixel app i think the original developers like developers of the app didn't have that in mind when um developing the app right but then um creativity have um taken us to somewhere else right okay so um with the recent updates coming from android these days right android version 12 version 13 like that like that okay um it's now becoming challenging to um to use some of these tools from pixel lab app okay um it all started with the embos to where um whenever you apply embos to your text okay to 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 have an amazing text event you realize that it will um it will get started right but then um now shadow is now a challenge also okay i might create a video around that um embos too okay um but then we are going to be focusing on shadow too this time okay so creating realistic shadow with um pixel lab app okay like with pixel lab app is now a challenge but then i'm going to be showing us two amazing ways like two most tricky way that you can um you can you can go around that okay so um with these uh tips i'm going to be giving us okay creating um shadows will no longer be a challenge okay as touching um graphic design with smartphone okay so yeah so um we'll be using basically photo room like the app we used to remove background rights that's what we're going to be using we're going to be using photo room okay don't worry i'm going to be showing us how to do that um so don't be like how photo room how don't worry i i can see the expression from your face from here hey <laughs> okay so um and then the second tip we're going to be using pixel lab app right yeah we're going to be using um you're going to love this tip okay you love the second one even more okay so stick with me don't skip the video um because i'm going to be mentioning some things okay so um let's go let's go i'll just turn on my i'll just turn on my data connection and i'll go to my um okay let's get uh let's get an image first okay an image i would want to create a shadow on okay want to create a shadow a realistic shadow let's start with um male model png let's get our um okay um come on you just need something real quick okay can you see can you see that this shadow now is making this picture okay that's not the purpose of this video though but then i still need to establish um establish this fact okay the shadow here is making the picture look so realistic okay as though um the man is standing right behind the wall okay so um i'm still looking for okay i'm still looking for an image that will suit what we want to do okay all right this will work all right let's just instead of downloading let's just share it to photo room directly so that's i'll just show us from there okay so i'll share it to photo room and photo room will do what she's known for okay removing backgrounds right okay so this this will have I'll click on transparent. I want my background to be transparent, right? So, I uh, will tap on the object, okay? I'll tap on the object and then I will turn on my shadow. Can you see? Can you see? Our shadow is coming out. We can just bring this into Pixel Lab like that and make use of it. We can also choose to increase the blur. Should in case after importing it into Pixel Lab, right, the shadow is um is kind of too much. You can choose to increase or decrease the intensity you get, and the blur probably um the sharpness, right? Okay, can you see? Um, 
yeah okay so you just play around um you just play around this okay you can also go 3d okay three dimensions right you want the you want the um the shadow to come from down okay let me show something let me show something very quickly okay yeah this is what i'm talking about so if you want your shadow to come from the down then you can choose to use 3d okay can you see so if i bring this if i export this and bring it into pixel lab okay although for this there's a way we can do that with pixel lab also we don't need to we don't need to do that with photo okay so i'll just make my background white okay so let's import random background mm, let's go to my pins something simple right okay let's just make use of this and then i'll increase the size all right so we have this so let's import the image we just removed the background okay can you see even though it's not completely perfect you can always go back and um reedit it right you can always go back and reedit it so i'll just go back undo undo okay then i'll okay yep so okay let me undo let me still undo yeah this is it so i'll export like this okay i'll export like this delete this one and import the one i just exported now can you see that the shadow now is awesome like it's awesome but before that um let me let me also show us this what i'm talking about let me show us um what pixel app can or do okay the challenge we are having with pixel app okay the challenge of bringing in okay the challenge of adding shadow from pixel app okay this is what we have okay let me reduce it a bit this is remember this is from photo room and this is what we want to do with pixel app okay before now we can always do this with pixel app but then we can always achieve this with pixel app but now this is it i've turned on my shadow on this element on this uh, visual element without shadow okay so this is my shadow can you see regardless of the fact that even if i increase the blur radius down to 25 i'm still never going to get what i want okay it's always as sharp as um a knife <laughs> okay so um that's it so you cannot achieve realistic shadow like this on pixel lab anymore that's if you're using um that's if you're using um the latest version of android okay so i think with this um okay let me just show us um with pixel lab okay although there's always a way we can there's alternative to everything except life itself right so let's just um hide this sorry okay let's just hide this and bring in okay the element without shadow and um let me show us something okay although it's not going to be as perfect as the one we got from um photo okay so you tap on your draw tool all right you increase the size and then increase the blur radius then if you want your shadow to be on this part right if you want your shadow to be on this part let's increase this one yes okay can you see that it's not going to be as perfect as what we got from photo room okay it's never going to be as perfect as what we got from photo room so you can choose to play around this also reduce your opacity can you see there's a field there there's a shadow there but then it's not as perfect as this one we got from photo room so the recommendation is get the pro version of photo room okay i can always share with you if you want okay so if you get the pro version um you can use all the um what's it called now you can use all the tool okay like you can use all of their um yeah you can use all of their features okay so that's that about that so i think um i think with this we're done like with this we're done with this video you can always use your photo room app or well <laughs> okay you can always use of oh, wow good news all right um so you can always use a photo room app come on what's happening uh 
sorry about that so yeah here's the thing you can always use your photo room app and at the same time you can use the draw tool from your pixel lab app that's the summary of the whole thing right so um with this we've come to the end of this video but then let me just do one more thing just one more thing stay with me this time stay with me don't go don't go don't go yet all right so um let's just export this image like this okay i think i did that on one of my latest design okay let's see if i can still find that design let me show us what i'm talking about very quick very quick very quick very quick all right so we are close yeah this is it this is it okay can you see if you look at the floor you see that he's not looking as though he's he's flying like he's flying on the sky like he's floating that's the word I, I I used my draw to 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 play around there. Okay, so let me show us what I'm talking about. If you import your image like this, okay, if you import your image like this, can you see? It doesn't make sense leaving your design like this. Okay, it's better you even bring it down, like you increase the size completely and bring it um, bring your element down like this. Then put your other um, visual element like your text and the and the likes around this area than making the visual elements smaller and then allow the guy to float on the air okay so regardless of the fact that we want our designs to always be functional and simple we should always try as much as possible to make it look realistic okay so just click on your draw to increase the blur radius as usual so then you can tap on this area tap on this area okay just play around it then you go to your um, 3d rotate make sure you bend it very well Okay, so you reduce your page stay. Although this is not perfect because of time. Okay, so you can always try as much as possible to get something real perfect. Okay, at the same time you can also try this effect. Okay, um, copy the image, color, make the color black, and then use your perspective tool. Okay, to bend the guys, slant the guys, slant him. Okay, so. I don't use this more often okay because it's not professional it doesn't look good okay so although I still like the result I still like the result but then I think I've shown us like four ways I started with um, I, I wanted to show just two but then I've shown us four ways of doing that okay so with this we've come to the end of this video and um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you've not done that okay and um also like this video it will help the youtuber golden to push this video to more people to see it okay for more people to see it rather all right so i will see you in my next video love you so much bye